What's up fellow classers? It's Apollyon here. In this video, we're going to focus on some 101 basic stuff and that is funneling. I guess funneling 101. I've done a video a long time ago on funneling, but I think it's good to revamp it and, or revisit it right now. Uh, it's just something that is, it needs to be used all the way from Town Hall 11 down to Town Hall whatever, Town Hall 7. Funneling is, is, is it's the, the root and fundamental of the attack. If you don't get the troops funneled the way that you want to, 9 out of 10 times you will fail the attack as you don't accomplish those objectives, whatever those objectives may be, getting the clan castle and the royals, getting two air defenses, getting whatever you need to take care of. That's where the funneling comes into play. So it affects all different levels. So we're going to look at some good, some bad examples of funneling and some good examples of funneling. Uh, this video is not to pick on any one person or persons. I have funneled incorrectly a million times, probably will continue to funnel incorrectly or make mistakes in funneling. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. You have a lot of troops at your disposal that can help with funneling. Some traditional ways is using a queen walk to let the queen go ahead and take one side of the base and then use a golem or something or giants to funnel the other side or baby dragons. Uh, the next step is, like we just mentioned, baby dragons are great uh, funneling. They can take hits from archer towers. They don't get hit by any grounds like mortar or cannons. And then uh, you can also drop golems in there, which is pretty much the, the traditional way to do funneling. Drop one or two golems or three golems, and then a bunch of wizards, minions around to go ahead and take out those uh, trash buildings and work your way into the core. Now, the purpose of the funneling is to take out uh, an edge of each portion of the base and focus to get into the center. So starting the funneling on the outside, working your way into the core. So when you drop that king, queen, bowlers, whatever it is that needs to go into the core, they have no way of walking outside. So we'll take a look at the first one with Corporal Casual coming in here at number nine, doing that traditional golem drop using three golems to do funneling and using bowlers. So Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10 get to use bowlers instead of wizards or, or baby dragons or whatever. They have the bowlers at their disposal. The problem is, is he doesn't get those inside core air defenses or buildings that need to be done. Drops the jump there and then drops the king and queen and a bunch of bowlers. But look at the the outside buildings have been funneled, but the, uh, the, the ones inside the compartment are not funneled correctly. So they're just gonna go, look at all those bowlers that are just gonna go walk outside uh, as well as the enemy, as well as the friendly queen. Look at that right there. Uh, just the whole, almost 50% of the kill squad is walking and, and doing shopping on the outside of the base. That leads to the fact that the king cannot push as far as he would like to, and those bowlers are going to die a little bit quicker without the help of the other bowlers and queen, and just don't get the amount of push that we need to get through this base. So that's uh, you know an example of, of funneling that could have been done a little better. Now, it's hard to come in from an angle, like a, a, like a corner type of thing. So that funneling is very, very difficult. So we'll go ahead and uh, get out of this attack and check out another example. And we're going to look at uh, EG's attack on number 30. And if you notice, EG got a, six, uh, a three star hit. So even though we're focusing on uh, the bad funneling, he did end up getting a three star hit as well. So good and bad. So we're using another traditional three golem stone entry. Sometimes you can do the shattered with two golems coming into this base. And we're going to go and look at, the, okay, there we go. So drop in the golems here at the nine o'clock compartment and the, um, the uh, well, it was supposed to be a little bit lower, but look at that, that spread there of those golems. There's no way you're going to get those golems to come back into the core. But uh, when we drop the golem here at the, uh, and this might have been a fresh hit, so it might have not known that there were troll Teslas there, the, the Tesla farm. So that one golem is just getting completely obliterated by the baby dragon in the clan castle. And then we've got uh, the, the funneling that was not completely done here. Um, and look at all those buildings on the outside. So the king is going to come in there. The bowlers are going to reroute um, or come in. And then look at those two bowlers plus queen that are going to focus on the outside of those um, buildings that were not taken care of. And they're going to go walk around. So we do have some of the troops coming into the core. But again, the king is not going to be able to, to tank and, and take care of everything that the rest of the bowlers and queen would have been able to accomplish. 
So again, we've got another failed raid here, and we did not accomplish all of our objectives there. All right, one more example. At, uh, we'll look at uh, Funky coming in here. Oops. On number 21. And uh, again, using three golems. So what you've got to do is you've got to start that outside buildings and uh, work on getting all those outside, even not the trash buildings outside of those walls, but even some of those buildings that are on the inside of the walls. Got to take care of them, making sure that that kill squad can really get focused and push into the base. Some of the things to take into consideration also, you can use the clan castle at, at your disposal to pull some of those troops, especially queens, to get them to go into the core by having the clan castle pull them in. Now, unfortunately, the, the clan castle is going to focus on that poor golem on the bottom there with nothing to back it up. That wizard is not going to help out too much. That, uh, that golem is just going to get fried by the Valkyrie and the baby dragons. And then we've got a jump coming in after that. And then the queen and, and uh, bowlers are just going to go start walking around the other edge. Uh, I think the queen actually ends up shooting through a wall because there's nowhere else for her to go. Just just about as bad as walking so don't get the we don't get the, the 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 full kill squad coming into that core and again don't accomplish all the objectives that we set out to do we don't get that last air defense that the queen would have easily taken out if she walked into the base okay let's look at a couple of good examples so we're going to look at number 29 as we mentioned eg we showed one uh, example of a bad funnel now we're going to show a uh, redemption and an example of a good funnel with this gobo a la loon coming in here with two golems so we don't even need to have the three golems um, into the base and we've got uh, the golems going to target each one of those uh, different defenses of mortar and cannon and we're going to look at these wizards that are going to take care of all these trash buildings now we've got the the wizards taking care of all of those outside buildings and test wall breakers and if you take a look at this base right now, there is nothing to, to pull out except for this one um, elixir storage, which is being targeted by the wizard. No other buildings are anywhere near um, to pull the, the, the queen or the bowlers apart. And uh, the, that also that wizard is taking out that, there we go, with that archer uh, tower. So with that uh, archer tower and elixir storage, look at them. They just can go only one way, and that is right into that core. They are able to take care of the clan castle, able to take care of all of the objectives, getting those air defenses that they're supposed to. There we go with that uh, second and third air defense, or that uh, second uh, air defense. And um, yeah, it's a three-star hit. And then last one, we're going to look at number 24. We're going to look at MASH taking care of this base using another um, two golems to do the funneling. And we've got a queen walk, so that's going to funnel on the uh, south side. So like I mentioned, you can use a queen walk to do funneling as well. She's going to get uh, a lot of defenses, so it's a little bit more than just funneling. But it's going to take care of that uh, bottom portion. She's going to get a lot more value than that. She's going to be able to take out the uh, enemy queen. So, But uh, the, the most important thing we're focusing on is using her for funneling in this attack. We have some, some uh, Teslas, hidden Teslas, that are going to pop up there. But we've got the wizard getting free buildings there at the town hall getting that barracks and the queen is walking all around taking out some of those inside defenses again and at this point it's hard to come in on the corner but look at what's available for the kill squad drops the golems drops those bowlers there is nowhere for them to walk except right into the core look at all that that dense compact uh, buildings that are going to pull them right into there and uh, you know the queen is even though she's busting the wall she's done her job and uh, it's getting the full entire kill squad in there using those golems to tank the king to tank as well and accomplishing those obje objectives getting everything they need to getting at least uh, a couple of those uh, air defenses and if they need to, all well, this is hog, so there's no need to. But just getting a, a bunch of those defenses and buildings in the core, and it's really pretty much uh, done at this point, uh, working their way around and taking care of King is still up. Bowlers are still up. That's how you know you've, you've done a good job with your funneling and everything's gone correctly when you have bowlers all the way till the end of the war and a uh, really nice hit. So anyway, again, just use, the, uh, you know, use your different, 
uh, options to figure out which ones are the best for you to get those outer and inner inner buildings taken care of try to get those kill squad uh, as much as you possibly can one or two bowlers that walk is not the end of the raid but get that king queen in there get the mass majority of the valkyries bowlers whatever you're using to get inside that core take care of that it's just a, a formula of success to be able to get um, a three-star hit and just see all across the board, all the way from Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9 to Town Hall uh, uh, 11s, just making r r simple mistakes. I do it as well, and uh, just kind of cutting the legs off from under them, not uh, getting the full benefit of a kill squad. So hopefully you all enjoyed this. Just revisiting just simple funneling 101 stuff. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Share them with your clan mates. If you all have enjoyed these videos or enjoy them and you find, uh, you find them beneficial, I'm sure they will as well. Uh, as I say in all my videos, use friendly challenges to your advantage. Keep hitting it different ways, different uh, compositions, different timing and deployments. Get those six-star clan wars and practice those three-star attacks.